We're Eamon and Beck, and this is our tiny home on wheels. And despite living in here full time, our van is still very much under construction. For the moment of truth. Oh no. That's not a good sound. Oh no. We got a leak. Kind of like a beer bomb, but for Pete. Here we go. Woo! Oh man, it's cold. gonna pick you up with the list from last week. We didn't get everything quite done. And we're gonna start with this little area you guys are always picking on us in the comments for. Our teak has come in. Let's fill in the shower, baby. Can we go back? Oh First my job God. of the day. No! <laughs> apple juice for you, come on. Oh, she's dang. For anyone new to composting toilet, I know you're thinking that the poop part would be the gross part. This pee jug is disgusting. And the composting poop is kind of like dirt. So you can do pee from now on because I don't even pee in here. Have you ever done the composting part? Um, <laughs> Why I've would seen, you think I've you would? I've seen you do the composting part. <laughs> it's not that bad. Is that nice though? A lot of you have been asking, Eamon, why did you design the shower basin bigger than the cupboard? It was all planned, guys. It's all planned. You really don't use the shower very often, but when you do use the shower, you don't want to be jammed in there. You want to be comfortable. Enter the teak slats. Oh. That's sick, dude. Gotta do a little bit more surgery on this one, and then we'll be done. Might even get another piece of metal here. Okay. Just so the curtain really stays in, but other than that, shower complete. I also wanted to note one really cool thing about having the teak slats as a sort of mat all together is if we did want to shower outside, you could just pop those outside on the ground and have a little outdoor shower and which, your feet wouldn't get all dirty or anything. Which we might do more often than not. Yeah. I purposely got a long enough. Yeah, isn't that cool? Hold. So you can shower right here beside the side door. Put the teak slats down on the ground. Stroke a genius, kid. Uh, you did you. it again. You. We are gonna be jumping around a little bit in today's video because we are trying to finish it all. We're gonna spend some time in this little tight area doing all the electrical switches and organizing where all the buttons go. I made. 
Looks nice, baby. This looks horrible. Yum. We are nice and full, and because I have to open the paint department to paint up this doohickey, we figured we'd get some trim pieces cut, so once the paint's out, the paint lady is here. She'll have a little paint Ooh, party. Looks good. She looks nice. All these finishing pieces always make it look so, so much better. Successfully framed off quite a bit of the van at this point. Got a window frame, Eamon's working over there. So I've got my paint shirt on. Time to get painting. Just a quick little area we can clean up. We've got some uh, auto carpet and just some 7 7M? 3M. 3M spray. Spray both sides. And roll it up like a burrito. That'll just help finish our most important part of the van. I'm sure. <laughs> the garage. What's that, buddy? Do you know what that's for? Uh, gee whiz, I'm not sure. It's like a horn? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a horn, man. I should really patent this design because it is so groundbreaking and brilliant. <laughs> but this is the world famous pea funnel. The concept's simple, kind of like a beer bong, but for pea. And you want to get a little shape female and male friendly. <laughs> and all it does is if you're you know, on a patch of grass or on rock or wild camping, in the middle of the night, you don't want to go outside, it flows right down to the ground. It's a game changer. So we'll still keep the pee jug in the toilet and that'll be for like, you know, non wild camping scenarios. Yes. Yeah. But we love the pee funnel in Trinity, so. We could not do it again. Well, and you know what else will be nice about it, bud? Lot. You won't have to lift, like in the middle of the night, you don't yes. have to lift this and yes. open and do the toilet. You can just make a little Make a whole pee. scene, disturb my buddy. Yeah. So hot water with a clamp, um, leak proof. <laughs> well, what a day, huh? Feeling blasted today. You guys might be thinking we didn't get up to too much, but all of these little details take a long. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! They take a long time. It was a sweaty one, so I have a suggestion. <laughs> you just put that in my nose. Let's try out our shower. shower. Pretty into it. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Thought, Three, two, one. I thought you were picking up on what I'm putting down. Three, Three two, two, one. You've been in this room too long. Come on, I feel the sun on your skin. On your skin. We gotta put this footer back on. Are you alright with that? Here we go. Here we go. Show it off. I guess that's a good spot. <laughs> yeah, there's something in it. <laughs> Curtain. Here we go. Woo! Oh man, it's cold. <laughs> Woo! Hey, I'm done, buddy. Get out of there, trooper. I'm up. I need a towel. My turn. I need a towel, bud. My turn. <laughs> I love that there's no water anywhere, boo. Well, Great I, design! Of course I engineered that. Great design! Can I pee in the shower? No way, man! No! <laughs> Dude, How is it? Honestly, this is surreal. The fact that we live in 60 square feet and it's feeling like a little house. I couldn't be more stoked. Amon's been in there just, woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Woo! <laughs> you love it? 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've never cleaned my balls while vlogging before. Okay. I can't tell you how good it feels to have a rinse after a long day of working on the van. Woo! It's been a few weeks, baby. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel like I don't need anything else in life. I know. Oh. Maybe a better hook. <laughs> So obviously once we get hot water, we'll use the extractor fan that's located directly above the shower. And then the only other thing we need to worry about is just the shower curtain. If we let it hang and, and dry for at least an hour um, with the extractor fans on uh, and then put it away dry and we'll store it in that area. Other than that, a plus baby. Uh, also important to know if you're just getting into van life, you're just trying to build a van to start out, shower in a van is not necessary. But if you're planning on living in a van long term, it's a nice touch. Well, it's our first shower in a van ever, so. <laughs> it's a nice touch. It's a nice touch. Shall we catch him in the morning? See you tomorrow. Every day this place starts to feel a little bit more like home and the fact that I can have my own morning routine in here, brush my teeth, wash my face, is just the icing on the cake. It's going to be a great day, baby. Morning. Morning. Well. Most mornings before we get working on the van, we usually do a little bit of admin, computer work, and I just finished up a really interesting course on Skillshare, which brings us to today's sponsor. So thank you for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are not familiar with Skillshare, it is an online learning platform with thousands of courses. So whether you're an entrepreneur or you wanna get more creative, there's definitely a course for you. I really like the course Filmmaking for All, Tell Your Story Through Video. Uh, first of all, I really like Dan as a dude, so it was really digestible for me to understand the content. And he goes into depth of how story is so important. And we try and use that even though we're making vlogs um, every single week by giving you a beginning, middle, and end. Uh, he also goes into kind of the gear you'll need, the production, editing. Um, I also really like that Skillshare allows you to put it on kind of fast forward mode because I'm so ADD. I can put it on 1.25% and it just helps rip through the course a little bit quicker. So check out Skillshare. We're gonna leave a link in the description below. Um, the first thousand people that sign up through our link are gonna get the premium membership for free for two months. And I guarantee you'll find something that will add value to your life and give you a little bit more skills. Shall we go? Build that van, baby. Speaking of skills. Speaking of skills, let's go use some of them skills. <laughs> I'm gonna have a coffee first. On tap today. What's on tap today? On tap today is gonna be Battleborn batteries. No, it's not. No. It's gonna. We're not, we, we, I'd like it to be, but we don't have all the electrical components yet. So I think we'll do the heater and your flower box. Ah! <laughs> Kicking off the heater install with just a few moments of staring, thinking, <laughs> planning. It just seems ridiculous that we're installing heat when it's like 30 degrees outside, but. Yeah. But this is how we get hot water showers, right? Choose a spot as close as possible to the connections in order to prevent unnecessary heat loss over the water lines. Mount the device horizontally, not vertically, as pictured. I found where I'm going to put the vent hole. <laughs> it's over here. Good work, baby. When it comes to heating your van or your water, we want it to keep it very simple. So we already have diesel, diesel fuel for the van and obviously electricity. So we're using a diesel heater to heat the inside of the space. And then we're also using that heat 
to heat the hot water tank. So we went with this Elgana, I think it's called. It's from Expedition Upfitter. Um, really simple design. It just blows the hot air from the heater through the boiler. So it's a six or seven gallon water tank. And then obviously in the summer, the heat from the heater will just re get redirected outside. But then in the winter, you'll be heating your hot water as well as the cab. So it just runs in line like that and it's pretty simple to set up. You got cold water in, hot water out. So we're doing a bit of a risky move here, but there's really no other option. This is where the hot air is gonna come through. It's kind of going towards the back, so we need to loop it around to the front and this is the best area. So it's a little dicey considering this beautiful rattan might get absolutely destroyed, but that's why I'm gonna use this basing here and go through that with the hole saw. And do you have tape or something like I suggested or is my suggestion not valid? Well, if I screw it up and I don't use tape, I'll probably never hit the end of it. So <laughs> why don't we get some tape? Okay. All the husbands out there know how it is. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Oh my God. Moment of truth. Well, boys, as you imagine, glad we taped that one. <laughs> Was that for all the men who don't listen to their wives? Oh, God, I would have never heard the end of it. Yippee! Family outing. <laughs> Plumbing store, here we come. Hey, how you doing? Not everything we needed was here, so I guess that means... Family trip to Home Depot! <laughs> but before heading to my least favorite place, I insisted Eamon checks his plumbing supplies, what he has here. My inventory, man. This is like my mini Home Depot. You're a little hoarder, man. I'm not <laughs> a hoarder. You are! No, this is uh... Look at all this. This is gonna work. Yeah, this might work. <laughs> This is kind of ridiculous. I'm using three different pieces to kind of get to the end <laughs> result, but it saves me a trip to Home Depot. The boiler's basically done. I didn't quite have enough parts in inventory, so one quick trip to Home Depot, and then we're done. Good morning. Reporting in from the Home Depot. Couldn't get back on this trip, but it's gonna be a quick one. Just a sheet of plywood and a couple little plumbing parts. Hello. 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 Ready for a great day? Let's bang it. It's got a tape and attach a few more pieces, and then the system will be complete, and I'll run you through what I did. Meanwhile, I'm just going around the house doing touch-ups again. <laughs> I think that's it. Woo! So basically, the cold water gets split again here. It gets reduced to three bar because that's what the boiler needs. We've got an on and off switch right there in case we ever want to not use the boiler. It goes through the boiler, heats up, comes back out the boiler, and then splits, goes to the sink, and then goes to the... Wait, are you telling me we have hot water in the sink? Whoa. <laughs> and here we are, the moment of truth. Oh no. That's not a good sound. Oh no. We got a leak? Yeah. <laughs> That's so nice. So, so nice. So just one leak. With the boiler done, we're moving on to second bed. 
24 and 3 quarters by 39. Eamon is a super creative guy, so instead of building a leg that's only use is as a leg for this fo second bed, we're testing out using our composting toilet bucket mixture <laughs> with a piece of wood to see how that fits. You don't want to carry around a foot just to carry around a foot. Mm -hmm. You gotta use, everything needs two purposes. But what are the purposes of these wood? Well, a couple of two by threes never hurt anyone. <laughs> you can hang out in here. Wow! Like, you can have your bed and I can have my own! Put up pillows and stuff and just chill. Very cool. And then if we are sleeping down here... Like if a guest comes... Remember, that's that our up. bed. Dude! This is such an upgrade! And then, when we're not using the bed... We'll tuck away, you know, the apartment we built last week. Oh, perfect fit! Nice. And all the extra sheets. Yes, we got pink for our guests too. While Eamon finished plumbing, I was playing stain matchmaker. We're gonna trim off this window kitchen area with a fake piece of walnut, but I think it did a pretty good job mixing these stains. It's maple. Walnut. It's it's really maple. Yeah, I'm making it a walnut. Yeah, though. yeah, but it's <laughs> it's maple. Maple. You're not listening. That's not I'm gonna keep that in the van until we go to Home Depot, you're not listening. What? You're gonna keep the LP? I'm gonna keep the L piece <laughs> in the van. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you're out of here. <laughs> okay, then what's gonna happen when you keep it in the van? You're gonna go in and get another piece? Yeah, that's just flat. Great job. <laughs> Yo, dude. Hey. We wanna get one more project done today. Um, and we kind of want your advice on it. Hello, it's Katia Mostering. Está hablando con Cristobal. Hola, Christopher. How are you? Hola, hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Hey, man. Yes, amigo. What's up? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? <laughs> Live like this. Oh, underneath? Yeah, underneath. The virus lives underneath? Yeah. yeah. You see? I yeah. follow the rules. Alright, Beck, I know you wanted to do one more project, but after talking to Christopher, he says, why don't you just bring the van here and we can do it together? And Christopher is a perfectionist, so I think that's the move, is to get it perfect, we need you. You understand? Yes. Perfect. Later, bro! Later, take care. Well. It's Friday, and now I gotta go out to It's genuinely Friday. This episode goes out Sunday morning. We keep it so fresh. If we were at Quesant Bakery, we'd be baking every single day. So, we're gonna sign it off here. Some weeks we get lots done. Other weeks like this, it's just kind of a mumble jumble, and you're working and you're chugging closer to the finish line. I think... Oh. <sighs> Nice zoom in. Mentally, we've checked out a little bit of this era, and we need to really just finish up, get the electrical done. We so, I'm hoping next week we'll have that all ticked off, and yeah. then we can hit the road a little bit because we need a different phase. We need to move on to another phase of our journey, and the build phase is over. Anyways, before we leave you guys today, we want to say an early happy 25th wedding anniversary to Patricia and Brett, all the way in the Netherlands. Netherlands yeah. Um, we're so inspired by that. My parents have been together 35 years. We've been together for eight, and uh, I know it only gets better from here, right? We need to get married, <laughs> dude. Oh yeah. People are asking have... me, "Are you even married?" We're like, "No," but I'm starting to call her my wife. Let's head down We're to City Hall. We're just testing it out, seeing how it sounds. Hashtag City Hall if we should just go get married in the next week's episode. Because <laughs> I'm super down. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Sunday. At this City Hall. <laughs>